Good morning guys from the Denali Highway. Well, it's been a couple days since we've uh, made a video for you. Uh, Sunday, it was pouring down rain. Kind of felt like taking a day off, so kind of stuck around the motorhome and edited. Good news, Beck is feeling all better now. Um, yesterday, Jim and I went out to our valley again and didn't see any animals. Uh, brought the camera, but really it just wasn't worth recording because it's the same stuff I've shown you already and I've tried and I'm trying to like break it up and not show you too much of one thing in one video uh, But last night we came up with this ingenious idea We're at mile six of the Denali Highway Let's head east and head down to the Richardson on the uh, ATV and hit the pipeline and see what we find down there So that's the plan and wish us luck guys we have made it to the AT&T tower so kind of went down the Denali highway on to like a uh, trail in the ditch crossed over to like a uh, pull out hit a trail up to the pipeline which is also called like the Alaska pipeline uh, the trans Alaska pipeline the Alaska pipeline but it's the pipeline and uh, that's where all the oil from the North Slope heads on down to Valdez very very fascinating um, but yeah, we've come up to the uh, hill where the AT&T tower is because the view up here is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, the plan for today, since we're going to use good judgment, we're by ourselves, one wheeler, not, you know, with like a group of people where, you know, you can pull or tow each other back to camp. So we're going to be very conservative, but I kind of hate to say it. We're just going to be road hunting along the pipeline today. You know, you have to make good decisions, and if you get stuck or broke down four miles down these trails, and there are countless trails, guys, that head off into the wilderness, it's just not smart with only one wheeler. So we're going to send the drone up for some really cool footage, put it away, and then we'll start hunting again. guys I hope you enjoyed that little drone flight and I'm gonna switch over to the uh, Alpha right now and uh, you know we've already used the drone we've already used the GoPro so uh, yeah let's just go for a ride we are about six or seven miles down from uh, that road by the AT&T tower. Just working our way south, still haven't seen any animals. All these trails off to the left are very, very tempting, but I don't know, going down that stuff by yourself is just not advisable.
we're gonna stop and take a little break. But I just have to send the drone up because this stretch of the pipeline looks so awesome. guys I uh, hope you're enjoying this Alaska scenery that we've been offering you the past uh, handful of videos because we sure haven't been uh, offering you too much in the way of harvesting even though that's just kind of the way it goes but we're up here we're having fun uh, getting a little antsy getting a little impatient uh, tad bit discouraged but that is all life and we're just gonna stick it out are you warm Jim I am now. You are? <laughs> yeah. Jim brought the little Mr. Heater today. So now we are back on the move, just putting down this pipeline road at about 8 to 10 miles an hour, looking left and looking right, uh, seeing whatever there is to see. Uh, trucks do not have access to this pipeline uh, road, also known as the Hall Road. Uh, and that can be misleading because they also call the whole Dalton Highway the Hall Road. But there are little trails that go around all these gates. Alaskans have used them for decades to go hunting, but trucks just can't get around the gates. So that's the benefit of having a, a four-wheeler ATV type of machine. Okay, I think we're getting into an area where there's some animals because we're seeing uh, gut piles. So warning, I'm going to show you an image of a gut pile. So if you have sensitive eyes or whatnot, just kind of turn around. So this is uh, definitely a handful of uh, days old, but yeah. That's evidence that we are in the right area. I'm gonna take a guess that that's uh, probably happened last night or even early this morning. All right, you can look again. How far up and down the line do you guys go? Uh, this is as far south as we've been right now, but we started, uh, we're camped on the Denali Highway. Oh, you are? Yeah, so we aren't seeing anything up there, so we came down, down here. here. So basically you just wanted in this area, right? Yeah, pretty okay. much. All right. Okay guys, so we uh, met up with the Trans-Alaska Pipeline Denali Security. And I guess we don't have all our uh, paperwork in order, but that's not a big deal. They're very friendly. We just need to get what's called a RUG, which is a uh, Trans-Alaska Pipeline System right-of-way public access, stuff like that. But you can get it at any of the Al Alaska Pipeline offices or any of the pump stations, and it's no big deal. You know, we're not getting in trouble. It's just something that we ought to have. So I thought I'd share it with you. Do we have to get this every year or is it uh, good once for... It to, once I give it, it's good for one year. Okay. Once I give it to you, uh, all you have to do is just call a pump station or corporate headquarters or anybody like that. Okay. And then we'll just update it in our system. And then uh, you can come to the pump station or anything like that and we'll reissue it. Awesome, thank you so very much. Yeah. I really love all our uh, freedoms here in Alaska. You know, other parts of the country, you wouldn't even be able to uh, get near a pipeline. No. Well, they're starting, the pipeline's starting to be extra friendly right now because it's guys like you that help us. Yeah. We have so much responsibility for the pipeline. Oh, it's Life wise. A, right? Oh, yeah. So if something happens to the pipeline, we're going to depend on you guys. Yeah. As, as legitimate hunters and everything. Yeah, and definitely. And people using the pipeline to help us out so we can catch people that... Yeah. Mess up our pipeline. We have a lot more eyes and ears than uh, you know, a few employees. So we're we're kind of like winning hearts and minds. Yeah. Neighborhood watch, just like in the military, right? So when we go to Afghanistan, I, I served in the military. That's why I'm going. Thank with, you for your service. Thank you. So what we did over there, 
you guys probably just saw that we blew things up. But in the military, we tried to win their hearts and minds too. Yeah. So that way, we knew where the Taliban was. Yep. So definitely, we're they're taking the same philosophy and applying it. Right I like here. it. Okay, so I guess this program has been around for a while, but they are just now starting to enforce it. So just a little FYI when you get up here. There you go. Thank, Thank you very much. Here. And then whenever you uh, see one of us, or if you see uh, the chopper, like I said, just. Yeah, if they hover over us, yep. just wave this. They'll see you come to, and when they come down, and then they'll point their nose down at you. Okay. And then when they point their nose down, just wave it like so this. So they're not getting ready to shoot you. Nope, they're not getting it. ready to shoot you. <laughs> All right. It's not the military. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Have Thank a good you. day. Thank you. All right, so this is what it looks like, and I guess uh, we are all legit now. And now we sit and wait. But we are just uh, sitting here, and there's this clearing, and we're waiting for animals to uh, cross. We're also probably about a solid 30 miles away from our uh, camp. Well, it's 2.20 in the afternoon, uh, clearly this is the uh, place where the animals are crossing. That security guy uh, just was you know, giving permits to the next people further north on the pipeline and five mature bulls crossed right behind them when they were talking and they uh, weren't able to get shots off because they were doing that paperwork stuff. But we've come a long ways to get here. This is the best place we have seen to uh, be able to harvest animals. So we're just gonna sit it out. Uh, say we've probably been here at least an hour and a half maybe pushing two and we're gonna give it another couple more hours or so because like I said this is the best spot that we've found well guys it's four o'clock we're a long way from home we're gonna start putting our way back I have no idea what's gonna happen this could be the end of the video and it probably is the end of the video if we don't uh, harvest anything on our way back so why don't you hit that subscribe button because we're not going to give up this easy. We'll see you tomorrow.